And for those who think that this ordeal will cow Chief Falaya and make him drastically change his lifestyle for fear of falling into the hands of criminals, his son, Mr. Daku Falaya, says his father will definitely carry on with his life. In an interview with Channel Television, Mr. Falaya also says that there is a need for intelligence gathering if security operatives are to improve on their ability to apprehend criminals. We didn't want him to be going before, but uh, nobody can stop him from doing what he wants to do. Like you said, he's been going to the farm every day. Monday was his birthday. Mom was 77 on Monday. He still went to the farm. So it's his farm. He believes he has a right to be there. He believes he has a right to peacefully enjoy his activities there. And I don't think, I suspect that for the next couple of weeks there may be some security, but after that he will go back to his normal routine, and that is going wherever he wants whenever he wants. It is his constitutional right. Um, th th there has to be a lot more intelligence gathering um, from, from the law enforcement agents. That's, that's paramount. Um, I, I, I can't see a situation where everybody will be guarded by a policeman, but I can see a situation where people are more vigilant, people are educated about what is going on around them. And, and if we're vigilant, we'll see it coming most of the time. We'll be more conscious and security conscious. You know, uh, that's, that's really all. I mean, the state security service, the Nigerian police, the state government, the Nigerian army um, went above and beyond our, even our own expectations. And um, we want to thank everybody for that who, who did that. And we're, we're very happy to have him back once again.